Hello, Richard here, and today we're going to be upgrading the RAM and hard drive in this late 2006 MacBook I recently got. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on it, on this MacBook unboxing, I recommend you see it. I'll be putting a link in the description to it. And um, before we start by before we start opening up, I'm gonna note the things you're gonna need. The two obvious things you're gonna need are the RAM, which I have two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Uh, SSD, uh, it would help if I stopped banging it around. I want it to work. Which is a Micron Real SSD C400. If I'm accurate, that's the Crucial, crucial M3. For. This was, I bought this on eBay and it was pulled out of an HP laptop, as you can notice from focus. Come on, world's slowest focusing camera. I think this is as good as you could get it. You can see how it has HP on it, so it was made by HP. Well, it wasn't, but it was made for HP, I meant to say. We're gonna need a coin. I do not have a coin, so I'm just gonna use the this the head of this key. A T8 Torx bit. I do not have a T8 on hand, so I'm using a <clears throat> 564 uh, what call Allen key wrench to do that. I'll teach you how you can get that off with this. And you need a number zero Phillips tip. So, now that we can get started. Let's start by doing this. By unlocking the battery with our key. I will say that in my other video when I was unlocking with a knife. Uh, I do not recommend that because that can damage your case. Uh, before we do anything, Apple recommends that you touch right here to discharge any static. So, yeah, you don't want to be shocking, putting any type of shock into this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take off these three screws. I'll tell you what, I'll stop this video and I will come back when I have them all unscrewed. Okay, I'm back. I've got it all unscrewed. And now, what we do is... Uh, you can start pulling gently from over here. Trying not to bend this to get to this. We'll start by upgrading the RAM. This thing has its original one gigabyte. So, to insert your RAM... This diagram shows you that... Which way you should position the notch. So, the notch goes on this side. So the notch will always go facing this way. Okay, so to pull out the RAM, simple, you just do that. It's hard to do this. 512 module, let's replace that with a Hynix 1 gigabyte module. So, following that, make sure we put this RAM in the right way, and let's push. Okay, now we can put this in our anti-static bag. So we don't ruin the RAM. I might try selling this in the future. I might not. I might just save it just in case I ever need a 512 megabyte module. Do the same for over here. Trying to do this through 
the viewfinder. There we are. Now, to get out the hard drive, what we do is we do undo that flap, and out comes the caddy. This is a Toshiba 80 gig hard drive, the original. Now, this thing, this is where your T8 comes in, if you haven't guessed. I don't have one, so I'll be using... Hold on. Once you get it out, you could just undo it by hand. If you have a screw that's ha that's giving you difficulty with, say, Allen wrench key, what you can use is a pair of pliers. You can see how the head slightly sticks out a bit. Just uh, hook onto your pliers right here and here and twist. I do not recommend that. I recommend that you probably... Uh, just buy the T8 if, or use a T8 if you have one, but in my case, you use what you have to to get the job done. Um, I will note that I am not responsible if you ever, if you damage your MacBook. I'm not taking any liability, you're doing this at your own risk. So, I'll tell you what, at this note, I will, uh, stop it here and I'll be back once I get these other three unscrewed. And by the power of magic of uh, video editing, I have taken off this. Which, the screws are now out. And we can put in the new drive in the caddy, which is this SSD, which we can take a little bit to compare them. As you can see, the SSD is around the same thickness of 9.5 millimeters. And it's about overall the same size. This is a 60 gigabyte as this is 128 gigabytes. Not the biggest increase, but I was more looking for speed and less looking for gigabytes because this is not going to be storing a lot of data. Okay, so as we can see, if I'm accurate, it goes in like this. And I'll tell you what, I will get these four screws in and I'll be back when they're in. Okay, I've got it all screwed in. And now I'll proceed to sticking it in the computer. You gotta be gentle and not get it caught on that. Just need to push it in. Oof. Now putting too much force. What the hell is in there? And I'll tell you what, I'll come back once I get it in. Okay, I'm back. I got the hard drive in. What turned out to be the problem is these two pieces of plastic came off the sides for some reason. The glue must have wore out over the years. Not sure how it happened. But I don't think I'm going to need them, so it's not like they're really that important. And now we can just put the old drive, which is for some reason over here, into the ESD bag. Just in case I want to sell this also, not that it's really worth anything. Okay, now that we have these two things on, we can proceed to reassembly by putting back on this thing. So, how you put this thing back on is what you do. So, is you just put it in like that, make sure you tuck 
can hold on. Yep, just tuck in the insulation. I'll be back once I get these screws in. Now that those are back in, we can go to proceeding to the next step of reinstalling the battery. And then using our key again. To lock the battery in place. Okay, so I guess I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to ask you to look forward to my next video. My next video is going to be on the installation of Snow Leopard onto this thing. Okay, so stay tuned. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.